Thanks to Corsair for sponsoring our trip to CES 2019. The Corsair One is their new super powerful water-cooled gaming and or workstation system. You can check it out at the link below. So Corsair is no stranger to launching new RGB products at trade shows, but this time, really, I swear, it's actually different. So this isn't just more RGB LEDs with more animation patterns or anything like that. No, okay, actually that's exactly what it is, but I swear it's different. Like, get over here. So this right here is a demo of what Corsair's been working with, with a company called Primax, and they're calling it Capellix. And what it essentially is, is a method of mounting LEDs, and not like, not like this entire surface mount, like, blocky, square, white thing, but actually the, the diode itself, just the little dot in the middle that actually emits the light, mounting LEDs directly to a PCB. And this is important for a number of reasons. It increases power efficiency, which in turn can actually increase the maximum brightness of the LEDs, and it dramatically increases their density. So in the past, if they wanted to do, let's say, an RGB memory module, they would have been stuck with like basically this kind of spacing. There's only so much granularity you can get to the animations that you can build into the product. Well, now they can achieve density of like, I mean, what, do you, what even is this? This is like 100 LEDs or 80 LEDs. Looks like 100. And it's like under my pinky. And I have, I have very small hands, folks. Very, very small fingers. Uh, so right now, there's only one product that is going to contain this new technology, and it's their new Dominator Platinum RGB. You can actually see they've got like a history of Dominator Platinum here. And they haven't gone that crazy, so they've only got 12 of these uh, Capellix LEDs mounted to it. But what they're talking about sounds pretty incredible because not only can they mount these things to a rigid PCB, they can even mount them to a flexible PCB. So even some of their most RGB'd out products, like some of their fans with 16 LEDs built into them, I mean, this is a whole new level. They could put hundreds of LEDs into a fan and do like, I mean, they could even display something. When you think about it, this is fundamentally a small LED display. It's absolutely incredible. Now, they're gonna need some software upgrades because at the current time, a single channel off of, I believe it's their Node Pro controller. Does that sound right, Aaron? Node Pro, single channel, 100 LEDs at a time right now? Yeah. They're, so a single channel can only support 100 LEDs, which is like, I'd have to do this. So those guys have some work to do to catch up to this, but this enables all kinds of new possibilities for LED lighting. You could conceivably have a system with thousands or tens of thousands of LEDs. So in a nutshell, more compact, more power efficient, or brighter, so they could do something like um, a wireless uh, backlit keyboard, for example, and just generally more possibilities, because they can put them anywhere. Like, the, look at the difference in profile here. It's crazy. Speaking of peripherals, they're stepping up their game there as well. So we've had range issues actually with our dark core RGB wireless mouse in our new employee lounge. And I was so thrilled to see the Harpoon RGB wireless. So the incredible thing about this is twofold. Number one is the wireless technology that they've built into it. So Corsair says that with a single device connected to a dongle, they've achieved 500 microseconds. So that is about half of a millisecond of latency on this thing. And with two devices connected, like if you had a, uh, a Harpoon RGB wireless and then a future keyboard that presumably they're working on, you could get one millisecond on each. And that's with a micro dongle. So this is a new technology they're calling Slipstream. And the second really cool thing about it is the price. So they're not holding back on us and launching this with a $150 mouse. They want Slipstream freaking everywhere in their lineup. And they went, well, uh, this mouse is the one that's currently uh, most ready for production. So we're gonna put it in there. Boom, let's go, 50 bucks. It's super light, it's just under 100 grams. And the range is actually really impressive. So it's running off of that system over there, one of the Corsair One i140s. But the, that's not the crazy thing. That's not really that far. It's that they're doing it at CES. So part of their slipstream technology is that they're able to straddle two frequencies at a time for a very short period and decide on which one is the best in order to maintain that latency. And showing it off working at a trade show like CES without any hitching is either brave or foolish.
So far, it's actually been working really well for most of our time with it, so I'm leaning towards Brave, but uh, I mean, there's still plenty of time for them to regret this. It's just looking pretty darn good at the moment. They're boasting 30 hours of battery life using Slipstream or up to 60 using Bluetooth LE, although of course there is a latency disadvantage there. And it comes with a little compartment on the bottom for the dongle, as well as a switch so you can go between 2.4 gigahertz Slipstream and Bluetooth. This puppy is available, uh, hey, hey uh, Harry, when's the harpoon available? Now, okay. You can buy it today, so you can go check it out at the link in the video description. Speaking of the link in the video description, this video is brought to you by the Corsair One. The lineup goes all the way from the i140, which has an RTX 2080 and an eight core processor, all the way up to the i180 Pro, which is really closer to workstation than it is to gaming, with 12 cores, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, an RTX 2080 Ti, a 750 watt power supply, and this is all in the same slim form factor as the original Corsair One. So you can check that out at the link in the video description. Thanks to Corsair for sponsoring this video and thanks to you guys for watching don't miss any of our CES content we will see you guys at the next booth oh by the way the Elgato guys here at Corsair we're gonna be super sad if I didn't mention their key light so you can control it so check this out you can adjust color temperature and brightness and stuff with your stream deck it's like Wi-Fi connected if you're a streamer it's pretty sick if you're not a streamer then maybe you just really like having like a light um, on your desk but that's cool too